Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm Nicardo McLean. In this episode, Mondo Musings tucks into the rather nebulous topic of talent by taking a look at 10 athletes whose metal production hasn't yet quite caught up to their enormous potential. Number 10. Jacko Gill Jacko Gill captured global headlines in 2010 when, well over 100 days short of his 16th birthday, he relieved Usain Bolt of the title of youngest ever male junior world champion, handily defeating young men up to four years his senior in Moncton. Just over a year later, the precocious New Zealander became the youngest male in history to break 20 meters with the senior shot. But almost a decade and five global finals on, the former team prodigy is still looking for that catalytic championship performance. A 21.55 PB in July of this year, though, does raise hope that the 26-year-old Kiwi might yet live up to the huge expectations with which he was saddled when he exploded on the scene all those years ago. Number 9. Kimar Bailey Cole once a popular pick in conversations concerning the next big thing in Jamaican men's sprinting, Bailey Cole, who was a world championships fourth placer in the 100 meters at just 21 in 2013, has largely disappeared from these debates. A quick glance at the former Commonwealth Games champion's performance graph reveals a gradual drop-off time-wise in every season since his current career best peak of 9.92 seconds was achieved in 2015. Frequently bitten by the injury bug, the 29-year-old has also gone through some significant shakeups in his coaching setup in recent years. Now seemingly comfortable at Titans International under the watchful gazes of Gregory Little, who he credits for much of his early success, and many-time global medalist Michael Freighter, it's likely now or never for this rangy, uber-talented athlete. Number 8. Zarnell Hughes Anguilla-born Hughes caused the residents of Sprintdom to sit up and take notice when he took down 2011 World 100m champion Johan Blake's Class 1 Bills record in 2014. As impressive as that performance was though, it may just have been the Brit's second best effort at the championships. His 2032 in the semis of the 200m, one of the smoothest exhibitions of sprinting that one can ever hope to see, suggested that a revision of Usain Bolt's 2025 half-lap record was also imminent. Alas, he was a no-show for that final, but at just 20 made the last eight in the event in Beijing just over a year later, finishing a creditable fifth. Six years on, Yu still appears to be struggling to do justice to his voluminous talent. Thankfully, despite the current darkness and desolation, there's still time for him to finally put all the pieces of the puzzle together. Number 7. Lyndon Victor Lyndon Victor profiles as a member of that very rare breed of decathlete blessed with the ability to jump far and high while also running very fast. It's the same breed to which current world record holder Kevin Meyer belongs. A recent PR of 492 in the pole vault long the bane of the Caribbean multi-venter suggests that the two-time NCAA outward champ at the age of 28 is still improving in the more technical disciplines. Given the Grenadian's relatively limited experience in the event, the next few years could well be the period during which he really comes of age as a decathlete. And if he does, one can expect something much, much bigger than his current PR of 8,539 points. Number 6. Miguel Francis Miguel Francis' freewheeling form echoed that of another terrifically talented tall anchor man as he carried Antigon Barbuda across the line in sixth in the 4x1 relay at Worlds in 2015. A year later, the Montserrat-born athlete was back at it again, strolling away from a field overflowing with top Jamaican 200-meter talent to register a true new 200-meter PB of 19.88 seconds. Since making the switch to representing Great Britain, though, injuries, unfortunately, have wreaked havoc, either cancelling or curtailing the 26-year-old's participation at a number of major championships, including the subsequent Rio Olympics and 2019 World Championships. Hopefully, someone, anyone, will be able to get this high-performance machine of a sprinter back in good working order and keep him that way. The world of track and field would certainly be richer for it. Number 5. Akila Jones Two-time Olympic champion Nafi Tiam's event PR is in the seven disciplines that comprise the heptathlon sum to 7,234 points. 
Doha heptathlon gold medalist Katarina Johnson Thompson's present performance ceiling, meanwhile, tops out at 7,104 points. That puts Barbados's Aquila Jones with a javelin PR that's weaker than Johnson Thompson's and an 800 meter best, which is over six seconds slower than Tiam's, in the same zip code as two of the most gifted female multi eventers of all time. If she can get right physically, the 26 year old definitely has the goods to challenge for global medals. And and even if the rigors of the HEP, which hasn't seen her since 2016, continue to prove too much, the 2014 World Junior Long Jump Champ, who set a national record of 680 in the event earlier this year, also possesses the talent to be a contender in the pit. Ditto for the high jump, where she scaled an absolute best of 1.98 meters five years ago. Number 4. Shamir Little Though Tokyo 2020 medalists Sidney McLaughlin, Delilah Mohammed, and Femke Bowl undoubtedly have the ability to do it, Little is the only active sub-54-400 hurdler who's actually broken 50 seconds in the flat four. She hasn't though yet been able to make the most effective use of this impressive speed over the barriers, often falling prey to hurdling mistakes at the most inopportune of times. This is the main reason why the 2015 World Champs medalist has only made it to one more major, London 2017, since mining silver in Beijing at the tender age of 20. Even in an era where anything outside 53 seconds likely won't be good enough for a medal, the colorful Kentuckian surely has the goods to crack the podium. Number 3. Nigel Amos Amos, at just 18, was a worthy Robin to David Rodriguez's Batman in the greatest men's 800-meter race of all time at London 2012 but was subsequently Superman's kryptonite at the 2014 Commonwealth Games, stunning the king with a typically furious finish. The young Botswanan's anticipated succession didn't quite pan out though, with Rhodesia rallying to defeat him and all other would-be conquerors at both the 2015 World Championships and 2016 Olympics. And while the fast times have continued to flow from Amos's legs, top-tier titles and even medals have managed to stay just a step or two ahead. With younger talents like Tokyo 2020 champion Manny Career now emerging, the 27-year-old one-time heir apparent, who was a disappointing eighth in the Japanese capital, will probably have to rediscover the fearlessness of his youth to belatedly crown himself global two-lap king. Number 2 Beatrice Chepkowicz Sometimes perception obscures reality. This could well be the case for 2019 World 3000 Meter Steeplechase Champ Chepkowicz, who at first blush appears blessed with transcendent ability. Maybe it's the 844 world record that's over 8 seconds faster than any other woman has ever run. Perhaps it's the eye-catching spread of PBs from 1500 to 5000 meters. Or just maybe it's that language style accented by an ear of apparent nonchalance. Whatever it is, it's sometimes hard for one to shake the feeling that the 30-year-old has something in the tank that she's yet to lay out on the track. And at number one, Kendra Harrison. There was a time not too long ago when the 33-inch barriers almost appeared to bow down in deference to sprint hurdles queen Kendra Harrison, allowing her to clear them with seemingly barely an alteration to her normal stride. An avalanche of fast times, including a mesmerizing world record run of 12.20 seconds, naturally was the result. Unfortunately for Harrison, mastery over the clock didn't translate to a global title. She appeared to buckle under the weight of the favorite stag at the US Olympic trials in 2016, missing the games altogether. At London 2017, she again fell short of the podium, ending 200s adrift off bronze. Ironically, she's mined medals at the last two outdoor majors after slowing down quite noticeably. With no woman proving capable of winning two major outdoor titles in a row, there's every chance that Harrison at just 28 can still find the promised land that flows with global 100 meter hurdles gold. And with that, we bring the curtains down on another installment of Top 10 of the Weekend. Now, is there an athlete featured on my list that you would exclude? And if you'd admit that athlete, who would you replace them with? Chime in down below in the comment section and let's have a muse. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.